Between the absurdly creative title of this video and the parts that you see laying out in front of you, you can probably guess what I'm going to get going to be doing here. Uh, I've got my GBA SP, the one that I have modded with a funny playing V1 uh, AGB kit, not the AGS kit, and um, a headphone jack. I'm going to try and put these two together. So this Game Boy Advance in particular, this SP rather, uh, has been modified with a USB Type-C port, which means that headphone adapter dongles will no longer work. Not that I have any anyway, but if I did, I couldn't use it if I wanted to. So the idea is to add in a, uh, just add in a headphone jack so I don't even have to use a dongle. Uh, the method I'm going to use, well, let me, st before I get into that, let me explain how the headphone detection works. Uh, on a regular Game Boy, um, well, pretty much actually every model, I think, except for the Game Boy Advance SP, because it doesn't have a headphone jack, how it works is there's a physical switch within the jack itself so that when you plug in headphones, uh, it actually disconnects a circuit internally and um, switches off the internal speaker. How the SP works is there's actually a dedicated pin on the uh, jack here. I believe it's pin number five. Yeah, let me uh, bring this in here. So pin number five right here is the dedicated pin. When that is grounded, it automatically switches off the speaker. And um, so then we have pin one right here is the left, pin three is the right, pin two is the uh, charge input. That's what my USB type C dongle is hooked up to. Uh, pin four, yeah, pin four is the um, audio ground and then pin five is the detect and then pin six is just ground in general uh, for charging. So the idea I'm thinking if we use a, um, a headphone jack basically designed for a smartphone we should be able to should be able to get it working. So the difference between this headphone jack and a regular one is this one is designed for four pole connectors. So you see it has the left channel, the right channel, a microphone, and then the ground, whereas a regular connector only has left channel, right channel, and ground. The idea is if I put the connector on this, or the audio disconnect on this pin, it should short to the audio ground and tell the Game Boy Advance to, to switch off the internal speaker. So we can test that with this here. Now I've already mapped out some of the pins because I've been playing with this for a few minutes, but as you can see my meter, if I touch two probes together, it recognizes continuity. If I touch this first pin and this last pin, no continuity. But if I plug in regular headphone cable, touch the two pins again, we have continuity. So I just need to figure out which one is which, and uh, then I can start soldering this up. Before I get that far though, we need to find a physical place to put this switch. So I've been, uh, been kind of messing around with it, and I think I found a good spot. I'm gonna put, oh shoot. It's all coming apart. Okay. That's what I get for taking out all the screws before I'm ready. I'm going to put one of these screws back in just so I'm not at risk of completely ruining this thing before I even get that far. Uh, I would unplug it, but this ribbon is kind of soldered in to the shoulder buttons and the brightness button. Uh, anyway, I was thinking. Uh, Blind Eye, the genius behind this mod, has his own headphone mod, but he's kind of MIA from the scene. I don't know what happened to him. He said he was taking a break, and then he just kind of abandoned all of his social media accounts and his uh, mod store that uh, 
seemed kind of weird to me, but whatever, I hope he's doing all right. Anyway, he did have his own headphone jack mod that basically goes right here instead. And it solders in, it's pretty easy to install. The only thing is you have to get rid of the screw post. And I didn't really like how that, uh, I mean, I'm sure it's fine, but I didn't like it. So I wanted to come up with my own thing here. And I was thinking, this fits awful nicely right there. And if I bend these uh, pins down, or at least just this top one, I don't even have to get rid of the uh, screw post. All I have to do is file in a spot for the headphones right here. And then on the top of this here, remove this bit and file something else away. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that marked off. Oh, I think I'll use the silver Sharpie, not the black one. So we just need to cut off this area internally. So uh, I can't see that at all on the inside. There we go. So I need to shave away this area. I'm actually going to go ahead and pause for a wee bit while I take care of this. I'm going to do it on my Dremel because I have a nice new cutting bit and it's going to take me like 30 seconds. Uh, and then when I come back, uh, you know what, I'm going to do this all off camera because it's going to take me like 10 minutes anyway. I'm going to go ahead and file an opening into the shell for the headphone jack and, uh, well, I'll be back in just a second. Hold my beer, eh? Right. I think that could have gone way better than it did. Uh, I kind of missed the hole a little bit. Um, something, something measure twice, cut twice. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, anyway, I've got enough room carved out. I just put this masking tape in here for, to prevent myself from scratching the ever loving piss out of the, uh, inside top of this clear cover. And I think I did a pretty good job of, uh, not doing that anyway. Um, one issue my new cutting tool for the Dremel is a little bit um, aggressive, I think. And I'm not really good at using it yet, so I did cut off too much. But then I went ahead and... Um, well, that doesn't matter too much because I went ahead and uh, filed off way too much right afterwards. So anyway, I think we can go ahead and get started soldering this in. Everything fits physically. Uh, I don't, still, still not happy with the look, but it's too late to go back. You can always cut off more material, but you can't put the material back. So let me get these out of the way before I toss everything around. I need to take this out now. because I need to solder to the top of this motherboard. And this is gonna get messy because of this tight wiring. You know, I bet I can give myself more uh, wiggle room if I just take that out. I should desolder that, but yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. What's the worst that could possibly happen? I'm gonna take that out though. Come on, there we go. Ooh, I think one of the points I need to solder to is covered. That's gonna be annoying. Nothing I can't fix, but Something I'd rather not have to fix. 
I'm also taking these buttons out because they're just going to fall out at some point and annoy me anyway. Might as well get it done now. Alright, so I'm not quite sure which side I should start with. I'm thinking I should start with this side and then just feed all the wires up. Uh, I need specifically that one R out, which is right under here, I believe. This is just liquid, or, well, I guess it's not liquid anymore. Uh, electrical tape. I'm just going to scrape it off there. That's the point I need, and then I need the top of this capacitor right here. So one, two, three, and hmm. actually, let me see. I think I have. Is that long enough? So that's going to end up going right there. Probably go up. No, it's no, not long enough. Well, shoot. Okay. We'll just waste the wire. I hate doing this, but it's what we got. So this is going to get soldered down, it's going to get routed up through that hole, and which side is it on? It's on that side. So that is probably enough wire. We'll do one wire first and see. I'm going to start by soldering to the top of this capacitor. How to zoom in, huh? So I'm just trying to tin it because there's a ton of mask material. And whoops, I just put a hole in a plastic bag full of screws. Okay. So that's soldered down. That is, I believe, the switch. So that's going to end up getting routed up and around like that through there. Is definitely an easier way to do this and it is not with a PCB that has a ton of miscellaneous wires already. Okay and actually that worked out pretty nicely I think because that's gonna go there and I don't actually know which pin this goes to because I'm pretty sure well I suppose I can rule it down process of elimination should have done this ahead of time but such is life okay so we'll plug that in there So I'm going to find the left pin, which I believe is this one. Yes, that is the left pin. This one is the right pin. Yes, which probably makes this one the ground, but this one is also the ground. 
So I think I need to take the port out and look at it. Because this wire I just soldered up either goes to this top one right here or this one. I don't think it actually makes that big of a difference because they end up getting shorted together, but I'm going to go with this one. I'm also going to remove this because I need that cable for my headphones. I don't want to ruin it by accident. That just gets soldered right to that. Just like that. All right. Three more. So that'll work, I think. It's just going to be a pain in the. Yeah, to get all these routed properly when I put this thing together. But uh, I think it'll work out. The question is, how long was that wire? Think about that. This one that I scratched up. There we go. This is right channel out, I believe. Run this under the wires, or under this ribbon, like the other one. There we go. Right channel was, I believe, this one. Because that would, yeah, okay. Hopefully, everything fits. Last one on top, then I can try and wrangle all these wires and get this thing put back together. Because the last one is on bottom. Oh wait, shit, that's going to be even more difficult. Whatever, we'll figure it out. <sighs> Hitting the camera. never-ending saga of all the poor mods that I do that are due to this poor SP. By the way, that big black spot, uh, like I said, it's uh, liquid electrical tape. 
It's not actual damage to the PCB. It's also not a mod either. When I got this thing, it was, uh, it had a lot of water damage. That I had to repair. That is also why, specifically, this SP has a uh, volume wheel instead of a slider. This is the left, which is right there. Enough. Now, one more, I guess. Trying to figure out the easiest way. It needs to go to the fifth pin. my other screen out here real quick. So audio ground, second to last. It's the cheat sheet I'm working off. That wire can actually be quite a bit shorter than the rest. It just needs to go from there down around to there. I'm gonna try and give myself some slack though. I'm not liking that. Oh, you know what? I got flux. Let's use it. There we go. Pretty sure that's not shorted. I'll wrap that up. And around. Yeah, hopefully I don't need to take this thing apart again. <laughs> this is going to be a mess if I do. Okay. And that would go around and through to there. Okay, I think I'm done with the soldering iron. I'm going to leave it on though, for now. Stick this on.
pretty sure just getting this thing together is going to take another 20 minutes. I also probably need to like glue this port in or something. I don't think the adhesive on the lens alone is going to hold it. doing that. That is really bad for that ribbon. That is a tri-wing screw, not a GIS. Whoops. Or tri-point, whatever. Somehow, so far so good, except for that one. There we go. So like that. And now I just need to figure out how to get that plugged in and route all of these wires. struggling with this so much. There we go. Alright, I'm going to start with the buttons. And if my uh, phone cuts out, I apologize, but I'm going to keep putting this together. I can't imagine you all want to watch me struggle with this. But it is kind of cold in here, so... Maybe I got an extra few minutes. Oh, really? What I should do is this. I should put this in. That. a little extra slack. I think that's plugged in. Now I just gotta find a way to get all these wires to not run under buttons. Thinking a plastic spudger might help. Do I have one handy? Of course not. I just bought these nice bright colored ones. I can actually route these all on the other side of the screw post. That'll hold them in place.
Yeah, because that wire... Oh, come on. this side and it's all just gonna work Don't worry, this is much easier than it looks. Okay, hang on. I think I got it. <laughs> Except I have at least two wires running under the D-pad. And the right button doesn't even click. Ugh. Oh look, that wire moved again. good enough for testing. Geez, almost 25, almost 26 minutes. That's a new record. Well, screw it. Let's try it out. Make sure I didn't break anything. Watch the camera cut out just as soon as we get to the interesting part. Well, that still works. That's good. Let me find a game. This will work. Got Pokemon Silver Flash Cart. in my headphones. Sounds like it works. Oh. That works way better than I expected. Well, let me, uh, let me take a quick break. Finish putting this thing back together. And uh, I'll be back in just a sec. I would have liked to keep the purple on here, but, you know, it exploded, so that's cool. But I got this in there. I was a little bit more careful with my trimming this time. I actually trimmed purposefully more than I needed to because I think it was just a hair too tight when I cranked the screw down and then set it down, it just, I don't know, exploded, which was cool. I also shaved out a little bit extra inside there, uh, as you can kind of see. And um, I had to shave out this side again for my screen mod, and the uh, bit I was using just totally, well, bit in, and uh, ended up destroying the shell, but, uh, I don't know, didn't come out too bad, still would have preferred the purple, but at least it's still clear, uh, anyway, there we go, thanks for watching.